Hallelujah. Well, good morning, happy morning, Sunday morning to everyone. Feliz domingo y por la mañana a cada uno de ustedes. Bienvenidos a la iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And he's got something for us. You know, we shouldn't just wait for uh, Christmas. <laughs> we shouldn't just wait for our birthdays. <laughs> Thank God. He says, this is the day the Lord has made. He sh we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall yeah. rejoice on the day. This is what a blessing. What a blessing to just be able to wake up the next day and say, hey, hey thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Yeah. So, church, <clears throat> we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. Amen. 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 So, Amen. Church Alive is worth the drive. Yeah. Church Alive is worth the walk. The walk. Amen. Yeah. However you get here, we'll take you. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to, uh, our message today is going to be about those who are waiting upon the Lord. And we're going to find out that that's a good thing to do. Praise God. So get yourself ready to receive. Those that are listening by audio, watching uh, by video, prepare yourselves to receive. Those que están escuchando por audio, los que están viendo por video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para ustedes. Amen. Y permita que la palabra lo bendizca. Amen. So it blesses you, encourages you, changes you, or like Pastor Pat says, correct you. Amen. Si lo va a bendecir, nos va a animar, nos va a cambiar, y nos va a corregir. Amen. And that's the word of God. Amen. So you be obedient. Be an obedient child of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be all so quick. So, let's get ourselves ready to receive. Grab your Bibles, grab your swords, and say it like you mean the church. Hallelujah, praise God. This is mine. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do but today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Praise God, amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. If you never said it before, Holy Spirit is always welcome here. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the other guy, <laughs> he's gone. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Yeah. Evil spirits, yeah. devils, we command you to come in Jesus' name. There's yeah. no room for you here. Amen. Praise God. <sighs> We're learning new things. And uh, so prepare yourselves. Never see yourself as a loser. Never see yourself as not knowing, but always see yourself as learning. Amen. Because he wants to teach you from day to day. Amen. From glory to glory. So we're learning new things. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Here's our uh, our slide on 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 the on the, uh, on, on the screen. And I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified, but it talks about waiting upon the Lord. It says, they that wait upon the Lord. The Amplified says, but those who wait on the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope for him, will gain new strength and renew their power. Amen. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God. Like eagles rising towards the sun, they will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow Yes. Amen. Yeah. So we must remember this. Amen. We must remember this. And I've got a little more to say about this. But we need to wait on him. Sometimes we want to uh, get ahead and think, uh, well, I feel well right now. Everything's going well right now. So I'm just going to go here a little further ahead from you, God. And uh, we take off without him, you know, and find out that we have to wait. So, you know, sometimes we miss out on blessings because... We get ahead of him. Yes. And uh, everything, yeah, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but everything is on God's timing. Yes, yes. Amen? And we need to wait on him. He told, he told his people, he says, go and wait for the Holy Spirit, you know? You need this extra power. You need the Holy Spirit. Yes. But you go and wait, and he'll come. Amen? And he told us that he's, he's gone. He said, I'm leaving. He said, but I'll be back. I shall return. Amen? So praise God. So let's be patient. Have I got another uh, scripture for you? You can write uh, in Isaiah 40 and 31. That's what we read. But I got another scripture for you in Psalms 23 
and two. Amen. And it goes like this. Of course, you know Psalms 23. It's all good. Yeah. But verse 22, 20, uh, verse 2 says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides still waters. Amen. Still waters here means waters of rest. Amen. You, you probably never know, didn't know this, but I'll tell you this. Sheep are restless when they hear rushing waters. Yes, true. But they're calm and wait patiently when they hear still waters, resting waters. Amen. Amen. And of course, our shepherd knows this. Shepherd meaning our God, our pastor. He knows these things. Our pastors know these things. And he says, uh, verse, uh, verse 2 says, he leads us by still waters. Amen. So praise God. Amen. You can mark that down. Yes, amen. Psalms 27 and 14. We're going to go get some scriptures here and uh, and mark these down. Psalms 27. Courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. We are to wait. That was the New King James. <clears throat> the the uh, New Living Translation says this. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave. Be courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Amen. So we are to wait. Uh, sometimes we need to calm ourselves down and be patient because we want to be excited and, and try to get ahead of him. But wait patiently, it tells yes, us. Amen. In the Old Testament, it's more about waiting for the Lord's providing care. But in the New Testament, he's related to Christ's second coming. In all cases, it's about waiting expectantly with hope and trust, faith, being able to wait in trusting God's timing, God's character, and God's goodness. Amen. I mean, I don't know if you ever heard it like that before, but wait expectantly. Wait with hope and trust. Wait with faith, knowing that things are coming. Well, knowing that he is true to his word. Amen? Yeah. Because the truth is going to set us free. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not about him trying to make us wait to see how long we can take it. <laughs> Just like we try to do wow. one another. Oh. Well, I'm going to make you wait. Wow. <laughs> you know, we might have something that we're supposed to hand over, but you know what? I'm going to make you wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to keep you waiting. No. And we say these things, you know, but that's not what God is doing with us. That's right. He's waiting for the right timing. He's waiting for maybe a, us to mature enough, maybe for us to grow enough to understand what he's doing. Yeah. Amen. And you know what? When he brings it to you and gives it to you, you understand, you know, I'm glad he gave it to me now. Right. You know, yeah. some of yeah. us wait a year, two years, three years, whatever it is. You know what? He says, if I would have had it back then, I wouldn't have known what to do. Yeah? <laughs> I would have messed it all up. Yeah. You know? But now, you know, in God's timing, it means so much more to me. You know, in God's timing, you know, we mature in the word of God, yeah. a scripture that's just a basic scripture. Didn't mean that much to you back then, but now all of a sudden you got new revelation. Yes, yeah. I say, wow, I read this before, but I never saw it that way before. Mm -hmm. And now my eyes are open. Mm -hmm. New doors open. Amen. Now you understand more. Guess what? <laughs> it's called maturity. Yes, it's called yes. growing in him. Amen. Yes. So we're growing. So, but he's not, don't even go there. And somebody says, you know, well, he's just making you wait. You know, he's just, see how long you can hold on. <laughs> no, that's not him. The way you know God's uh, necessity is two key elements. A complete dependency upon God and a willingness to allow him to decide the terms including the timing of his plan. Amen. Amen. Just waiting because he knows what's best for us. Yes. Amen. James 1 and 3 says this, patience is a product of faith. <laughs> Don't ask for patience. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. James 1 and 3, I'm going to read it to you from the uh, New uh, Century Version. So mark that down. Ch James chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. It goes like this. My brothers and sisters, when you have many kinds of troubles, you should be full of joy <laughs> because you know that these troubles test your faith. Mm -hmm. And this, 
will give you patience. Yeah. Amen. <laughs>
Check your priorities. Get your priorities straight on a daily basis. Yeah. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto me. I'm going to have a winning attitude. Why? Because I'm going to win inside. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus came and he won. <laughs> and I'm a champion. I'm a winner for him. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Hallelujah. And of course, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. happy and you know what i've said this so many times when people see your smile they want to know what's going on yeah hey you must have seen the game last night hey you must have gone out last night what happened last night i said well you know what I man i'm telling you this is the Amen. He can set you free from this world. Woo, hallelujah. Check this out. Attitude is a little thing that takes that makes a big difference. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Amen. Amen. You don't think so, but it is. So, hallelujah. Oh my God. Patricia gave me that annoyed, irritated, and edgy. I know you've never been there before. <laughs> no, of course not. But if you're going to go out fishing in the world, Jesus says, I'm going to make you fishers of men. Yeah. I'm going to make you fishers of people. For God so loved people. For God so loved the world. He wants us to be fishermen. Going somewhere to happen. Catching. Yeah. But you know what? You're going to have a um, good attitude. People in. You know, when you spend time with him, you don't get all these. You want me to do? You can do all these things, he says, through me who strengthens you. Yeah. I'm giving you the strength. You go and be my witness. You imitate me. That's why it's so important to see, you know, I've heard so many people. Well, I can see who's on the throne. You need to get yourself off the throne and put Jesus on the throne. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Receive him as your Lord and Savior and you'll see things change. As often as possible, you know, say, huh. I need to step down and have him sit. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Waiting on him. Being patiently. Patiently. The renewing of our strength requires that we wait patiently. Wait on the Lord even in the middle of great trials. If we wait for the Lord, we will reap, gain, earn, acquire, and obtain blessings. We win and not lose. Amen. Right. Don't see yourself a loser. If you see yourself a loser, <laughs> you better go back and spend time with him and remember what he's done for you. Yeah, yeah. Amen. See? amen. Amen. If you see yourself that way, that means you got to renew your mind the way he says. Renew your mind with the word of God. Yeah. Feed your spirit the word of God. Renew your mind with the word and crucify the flesh. Because when you're running on flesh, you start to think like the world. Uh-huh. Amen. And you don't want to think like the world. If you find yourself there, it's time to go plug yourself into yeah. the source, the strength of him and, and renew yourself. Amen. 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 Keep yourself Amen. full and not empty because your flesh will tell you and dictate and uh, tell you how to go. And and, uh, and you got to tell the flesh, hey, you know what? I'm going to crucify you. You're, you're Just take a seat. Our faith must trust and trust must be tested to gain strength. Yeah. So we know those things are happening. And trusting him when all is going well. Yes. You know, <laughs> not so easy when the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Yeah. This is why you got to remember so many Christians quit. Uh -huh. So many Christians bail out. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be a Christian. <laughs> you, 
Let me see. You go buy you a brand new car, mm. and you got all these options, all these ex uh, extra things on it. You buy you a new cell phone. You buy you a new computer. A whole new thing. Blessings to you. And you got all these options, but then you don't want to use them. You still want to use the same thing. You know, you can't use eraser or whiteout on the, on, the, on, the, on the computer screen. Hey, I remember whiteout, man. I used to have about a gallon. But you can't do that on the, or on the computer screen. <laughs> you got, it, it's changed. So guess what? We got to change too. <laughs> we got to grow. We, we're learning. Learning new things. Praise God. Amen. Oh, my God. Help us, Lord. <laughs> Many Christians, you, you, you're a Christian. I'm leading to this. You're a Christian, and you have all these things there for you, and you're living a defeated life. He says, he's won the battle for us, and yet we're allowing a defeated foe to rule over us. You know, you got to, he said, use your authority. He said, yeah. go into this world. Go and preach the gospel yeah. with authority. Lay hands on the sick. You know, yeah. cast out devils. You know, or another another translation says drive them out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they don't want to go. <laughs> Too bad, you got to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have authority. I'm taking authority yeah. over you. I'm commanding you to come out in Jesus' name. Amen. So, many Christians quit and bailed out on God as a storm of life get rough. And you know what? If you don't think they get rough, you walk out without God and you just find yourself that you're no match for this world. Amen. Amen. Right. You're no match for these giants that you're facing on a daily basis. You need him. Yeah. Without God, you're no match. Right. Amen. Without God, we're no match to the enemy. If your life is in the middle of a disorder, confusion, or turmoil, the ways of temptation are about to swamp you over. <laughs> Look up and put your trust in him. Yeah. Amen. Put your trust in him. Wait on the Lord is to stop all activities. <laughs> Quiet yourself. Focus your attention on him. <sighs> and say, Lord, I need you. You know what Jesus did? He told his disciples. <laughs> I said, I'm taking a break. I got to go spend some time with the Father. Yes, I need extra strength. Now, if he needed it, we need it. Absolutely. And when things are getting bad, I, uh -huh. it's time to say, you know what? Time out. I need to spend some time with the Father. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Lord, all these cares I'm thinking about, all these things that are just weighing me down, I just cast them on you. Because that's what your word says. He says, give them to me. Yes. And leave them there. Don't take them back. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> this is good. You know, this is on a, on a daily basis. Yeah, First Peter five, uh, 7 says, cast all your cares upon me because he cares for you. God is never tired, too tired or too busy to right. listen and to help those that trust in him Amen. and faithfully come to him. You know, some people say, God can't use you anymore. <laughs> See, Paul and Silas, they thought they was doing something good for God. And then they found themselves in the dungeon in the prison. Yeah. <laughs> Deep down, you know. <laughs> and instead of being sad, instead of just saying, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to come here no more. You know what they did? They were praising their God. Amen. In the midnight hour. Yeah. Not just, well, you know. <laughs> in the midnight hour, they started praising their God. In the, in the midst of problems, yeah. in the midst of things going bad. Amen. They were praising their God. Amen. Amen. And he heard them. And he opened the cell doors and he yes. released them from their chains, Amen. you know. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Praise and, and the jailer says, oh, forget it. I'm dead. I'm going to lose my job. Right. <laughs> I'm a dead right. man. He said, no, don't, don't hurt yourself. Him and his family came to know Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. How about the robber at the, at, at the, at the cross? Where he says, you know, hey, I lived my life. I lived a defeated life. I've done all these things. Mm -hmm. And now here I'm about to go. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and mm -hmm. Savior. Can you change me? Take me now? He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. It's never too late for anybody, those watching, those listening. Mm -hmm. 
It's never too late for you. I don't care what so and so said or who said what or what. It's never too late. Amen. Amen. You can always come Amen. to Christ. It's time, you know, when you're doing about face and turn around and come back to him. He'll receive Amen. you just like the prodigal son. And you know what? He's waiting for you. Just like the prodigal son's father was waiting for his son to come back mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. When he saw his son coming and his son runs to him and said, hey, <laughs> you know what? Hey, I can just be one of your servants. I can, you know, you, you can just do this, do this. The father never heard him. He said, bring him, bring him a robe, bring him a ring, kill the fatted calf, and we're going to have to have a celebration. Amen. Amen. And heaven rejoices when somebody new comes to Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, hey, I'm gonna, one day we're going to be up there celebrating when somebody new comes to Christ. Amen. Uh -huh. If he tarries, yes, we'll be there. <laughs> Amen. Let his strength become your strength. Be strong in him. Yes. You know? <laughs> The battlefield of the mind, you know, you're always tempting. And the enemy's always tempting to see. <laughs> he comes and he tries to put some thoughts there, and you must tame it out, renew yes. it, and get it out of there. Say, ah, ah, yes. delete, 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 delete. Never confirm. <laughs> Never confirm. <laughs> if enemy comes in and says, I want to be a, put in a friend request for you. <laughs> Don't confirm. <laughs> delete. <Yeah. laughs> Delete it, get it out of there. Man. Amen. He wants to come in, steal, kill, destroy. That's his mission. Amen. He's, 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 he's no bueno. Amen. <laughs> Let his ways become your ways. Change your priorities often, yes. as often as you have to. Amen. <laughs> yeah, get off your throne as many times. Of course, Matthew 6, 33. Those who wait upon the Lord are those who believe in him, trust in him, have faith in him, and have expectancy. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Have expectancy, believe in his word, his promises, his timing, his abilities to carry those out. And yes, I believe in you, Lord. Yes, he's coming back. Yes, I believe. Wait on the Lord takes patience. <laughs> the Bible uh, teaches we should be patient with one another. Amen. Okay, now. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Church has become impatient. Mm. impetuous, mm. impulsive, irritated, aggravated, provoked, edgy. Remember, it's in God's timing. By missing his timing, we miss out on a lot of things from God. Yes. Amen. And it's not his problem. It's us. Mm -hmm. We need to correct us. Yes. Amen. It's never his problem. Remember, his timing and his ways are different. Yes. Waiting on God should not be hard. That's right. Amen. Give it all to him. We've been conditioned by the world to be impatient. Mm. We want it now. We need it now. Oh, Patricia, yeah. I want it now. <laughs> we got to buy it now. <laughs> we don't want to wait. We can't wait. Don't put it off. It's on sale right now. Let's get it. <laughs> God says, wait. God says, wait. He can get it for you, but we want it then. So we go step ahead of him, and we mess out. We miss it. Yeah. Yeah. We mess up and get ourselves in trouble again. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 we get it now. Do it now. We got to have it now. We also live. We talk about food here. Fast and instant world. Of fast services, fast foods, fast cars, oh instant information, mm -hmm. Facebook, internet, computers, cell phones, instant credit. Mm -hmm. Buy it now, pay it later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. They're fishing too. They want to catch you. Amen. So they're fishing just like you. <laughs> Today I want to show you how to live life to the fullest by soaring with him. Amen. Amen. Running and walking over all these troubles, cares, distractions, temptations, trials. Yes. Overcoming the negative world. Yes. Amen. And we can do all these things because he tells us we can do all these things through him. Amen. Yes. Now, uh, John 16, 16, 33 says this. 
These things I have spoken to you, that in me you will have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. I have overcome the world. Yeah. He's already telling us we're going to have some problems, but yeah. be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Amen. So you, call yourself you an overcomer. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you can overcome. Amen. Amen. But so and so says, you know, God can't use me anymore because I've done whatever. Mm. You know, God hates sin, but He loves sin. Yes. Remember that. And you know, just because you missed it one time doesn't mean He's giving up on you. That's right. Amen. Amen. He's got him a second chance, yes. a third chance, a fourth chance, and on and on and on. You, we just need to come to him and say, it's confess, yes. amen, confess our sins. And he is faithful and just to forgive us of all your sins and yes. cleanse you of all, all unrighteousness, right. amen. Yes. So believe his word, not what people say, what people do, whatever. Believe what his word says, amen. amen. His word, since you've heard it, if you believe his word, you can't go wrong. Amen. Amen. People can lead you wrong. Yes. Because enemy can use people also. Uh -huh. Amen. If they're not lined up with him, enemy will use them. Yes. Amen. Uh, in the uh, easy to read version, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. Have peace in him. <laughs> in this world you will have troubles. But be brave. I have overcome. I've defeated the world. Amen. You can say the same. So we know that this enemy of yours, Satan, is a defeated foe. Yes, he is. And I you can stop that. listening to his amen. lies. Yes, amen. <laughs> stop listening to him. If you're doing that, it's time to stop. <laughs> know who you are in Christ. Christ. Yes. Amen. Know who you are in Christ and what you can do through Christ. Yes. Amen. When you know these things, the enemy can use you. That's right. Amen. To do the leap yeah. wrong. <laughs> we must be patient. Have faith, trust, obey, and, and wait on the Lord. It says that those that mount up in wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and we will walk and not faint. Amen. See yourself soaring with God. Being positive. Amen. Having a good attitude. Yes. Amen. It draws. Remember, your attitude is contagious. It's your attitude worth catching. Because <laughs> somebody's going to catch it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, why are you acting that way? <laughs> and not scratching with the chickens mm. or eating with the pigs and like the prodigal son yeah. said, oh my god mm. you don't have to fall for that amen he's a child of god you can do better than that yes. or straggling with the world in the world amen he says that oh you're in the world but not of the world amen, right. amen. we're just passing through this is not my world. I'm passing through. I'm on my way to heaven. Seeing your victory. Amen. Amen. <laughs> See yourself the way he sees you. He sees you soaring. Yeah. He sees you running. He sees you walking. <coughs> but not defeated. Amen. Yeah. He sees you as an overcomer. Yeah. He sees you a winner. And he sees you a champion. So why are you not seeing yourself this way? Uh -huh. You need to see yourself who you are in him. And see yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Time for uh, commercial break. <laughs> Put your Jesus glasses on. Amen. Have the love and compassion of God. Amen. And go somewhere to help it for somebody. Amen. Amen. When, they, Amen. You, when you have your, 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 your love glasses on, the love and compassion glasses on, Amen. You're going to be joyful. You're going to be cheerful. Amen. You're going to have the right attitude for yeah. somebody. Amen. He's going to walk up to you. Uh -huh. Amen. When they walk up to you and open themselves up and say, I want what you've got. You know what? Salvation is a free gift. Yes, it is. All you have to Praise do is God. just give it to them. <coughs> say, hey, all you need to do is confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. and ask him to come into your heart. Yes. And he will. Amen. Amen. He'll never turn you down. Amen. So remember this. People will tell you different. But it's what the Word of God says. Amen. You know, when people tell you things, always find out what scripture they use. Mm -hmm. Or tell them to show you scripture in the Bible That's right. that relates to yeah. what they're saying. If they can't find scripture, well, so-and-so told me, well, so-and-so can just go with you and go away. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Believe the Word. Amen. And not what people are saying 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is going to set you free from a lot of things. From cares, problems, troubles, setbacks, failures, lacks, anything that makes you fall. Any yeah. distraction that stops you from fulfilling what That's God right. called you to do. Just know, child of God, that God has called you. Yes. You're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. And that reason is that calling, that mission that he has sent you on. And you're going to fulfill that mission, but you got to know what the Word of God says, yes. and you got to know the truth. So these distractions, these problems, these things won't uh -huh. hold you back anymore. Mm -hmm. Say, you know what? Big or small, whatever He's called you to do, mm -hmm. you're going to fulfill. Amen? Amen. You will fulfill. So we can soar and overcome this world and Satan with God. Amen? Mm -hmm. In John, at 1 John 4, 4, he says, <clears throat> in the New King James, you are of God, little children. Yes. And have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Amen. 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 You know what? You start building yourself up like this, and you'll be just like little David. <laughs> the bear come against him, the lion come against him, and the giants of the world come against you and say, <laughs> So what? Nothing bigger than my God. Amen. Nothing Amen. is bigger than my God. Amen. And I can do all things through God. Amen. I'm going to attack you. And I'm going to take, he said, he told the lions, he says, I'm going to chop your head off today. Now, I'm going to take your head off today. <laughs> it's not good when God's people are in prison, in bondage, or in sin, bad habits, the way of the world, or other things, the little foxes that spoil yeah. the vine, that stop from from being free and victorious to do what God has called them to do. Mm -hmm. Church, let go of whatever makes you stop. Amen. Whatever's making you stop, mm -hmm. it's time to let go. Yeah. Give it up. Amen. Yeah. Give it to him. Amen. Say, Lord, I'm giving this to you. Yeah. And listen, all of us have different things. It affects us different. So you know what makes you stop. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let go and let God yes. with him. All things are possible. All Amen. Amen. <laughs> when you know God requires patience, mm. faith, hope, mm. and expectancy. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just like the little boy. <laughs> if you're going to go out fish, if you're going to go out fishing, um, <laughs> I've, I've had people giving me fishing equipment because they went out the first day and didn't catch anything. <laughs> And just threw the stuff away. Yeah. Say, don't throw it away, just give it to me. Yeah. If you're going to go fishing, mm. have faith, yeah. have patience, have hope, have expectancy. Mm. You're going to catch something. As a child of God, as a fisherman of God, know that there's somebody out there that you need to yes. catch. Amen. He's sending you, he sent this into the world to fulfill a mission. Mm -hmm. And with him, we'll fulfill. Somebody's out there. Just waiting for you to say, mm -hmm. you know, God wants you. Mm -hmm. God died for you. God wants you. And you can come to Christ today. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. God. <laughs> waiting on Lord, waiting on the Lord has hope for results. Yes. Amen. This is good. One thing some of us are not good at is waiting. <laughs> <laughs> or having patience. Come on now. <laughs> Ah, we start pacing the floor. <laughs> we easily get impatient. <laughs> we don't guard our mouth. He says right. to put a guard over your mouth. I call this leaky Christians before. Oh, boy. You got to be careful you don't leak out the wrong things. Right. Yes. Amen? Because if you're leaking out negative things, uh. our seeds, negative seeds that are going to give birth, that are going to be born, yeah. that are going to raise up. You're going to reap negative things because you planted some negative things. So you got to put a card over your mouth. <laughs> the words just start. So we got to be careful. Well, I just have to tell him that. I just have to tell him that. I just have to say these things. No, you didn't have to. Jesus could have said a lot of things, but you know one thing he knew? He would never violate himself right. or the word of God. Amen. So he kept his peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he was patient enough to just hold it. Mm -hmm. And we need to put a guard on ourselves. <laughs> guard 
yeah. ourselves. Guard the word. Guard our, uh, don't be hung by the tongue. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because the Bible says life and death are in the power oh. of the tongue. That means words. What do you speak with your tongue? You speak words. And words are coming out. Words are powerful. They bring life or death. So you have to be careful. God created this whole world just by words that he spoke. Yes. So that's how powerful these words are. Yeah. So you can have what you say. Oh, yeah. You can have what you speak. Mm -hmm. You can have the words you say. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to come back on you, not on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guard yourself. The words you speak are carriers and they have power of life or death, positive or negative. You will reap what you sow. Remember the hardest thing to tame is the oh. tongue. <laughs> it's small, but it's powerful. Mm. It say, uh, we used to say this in the playground, sticks and tone may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Oh, that's words can hurt you. Yes, they can. Words can hurt you. <laughs> James 3 and 8 says this, but no one has been able to tame the tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, full of deadly poison. You mark that down, go look it up. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different translation. You know, this is the Good News translation. It says, but no one has ever been able to tame the tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, full of deadly poison. Mm -hmm. Now, so we're to give no place to the devil if we do. <clears throat> Listen to this. If you give place to the devil, he wants to rule you. Oh, yeah. He wants to drive you mm. and take you the wrong way. Yeah. He wants to devour you. Mm. His mission, steal, kill, mm. destroy. destroy. He never wants to be your friend. That's so if right. you get a friend request from him, <laughs> delete it. Delete it. Yeah, bam. <laughs> We must get renewed. Psalms 51 and 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, O God, uh -huh. and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Amen. Renew means a new beginning, a new start, yes. a new life. Yes. Change. Yes. Amen. And it's okay to change. Yes. We are to change. Amen. And be more like Him. So, in closing, Amen. That's the first time you said amen there. <laughs> Remember that we are to soar like eagles. Yes. Upward, not downward. Yes, amen. Right. We're to go up and not down. Amen. I told you the story of uh, the eagle before. I'll remind you, a quick version of it. This farmer went and found an eagle out in the forest. It was hurt. So he took the eagle and he brought it and put it in his chicken coop with the chickens. <laughs> so he started feeding this chicken, I mean this eagle, chicken feed. And so the eagle started uh, eating the food the chickens are eating. It started behaving like the chickens. Uh -huh. Amen. So <laughs> we have to be careful because we like So a forest ranger came one day and saw the chicken. And he says, what is the king of all birds doing in a chicken coop? Mm. The farmer says, well, uh, I found him hurt. So I put him in the chicken coop and he's been there. So the forest ranger said, well, he's fine now. It's time to let him go. So he got him, he took him out, and he threw him up in the air to fly away. And he flapped his wings and he landed and immediately ran to the rest of the chickens. Oh, wow. Amen? And says, no, 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 this is not right. So he took him to the top of the house and he threw him up and says, fly, you're king of all birds. And he flapped his wings just enough to land on the ground. And then he turned around and looked at his buddies and he ran over there and got back to the chicken coop. So he says, this is not right. So he encouraged them. He says, look, I'm going to take you where you belong. You belong out in the forest. Mm. And he took him out to the forest. He took him to a high place. And he threw him up in the air and says, you're the king of all birds. I encourage you to fly. Mm. And the eagle 
flapped his wings, looked back, and let out a big whatever noise they made to say, thank you. And he kept on flying. Amen. God has called you to be champions. Amen. Yeah. And it's encouraging you to quit hanging out with the wrong place. Yeah. At the wrong places, right. at the wrong crowd. Yeah. And it's time to be the people he's called you to be. Yeah. To be the overcomers. To uh -huh. be the champions. To be the winners that he's yeah. called you to be. To go out and be ministers of reconciliation. Yeah. And bring, reconcile people back to him. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see what I wrote here. The ranger took the eagle to a high mountain. He holds the eagle, king of birds, high above him and encourages him again and say, you're an eagle. You belong in the sky. Stretch your wings and fly. The eagle flapped his wings, fly off and look around. He looked back. No way. He looked back just to say whatever call they make, just to say thank you. And he kept on going. The eagle slowly stretched his wings and flies away. Mm. Soars away into the heavens. Don't hang out in the wrong places. Right. Don't hang out with wrong people, wrong crowds. Don't let the past, don't let distractions, anyone or anything, hold you back from what God has called you to be. Amen. As we continue our relationship with him, we must stay hungry for more of him. And the word, the truth will set you free. Yes, amen. We're to fly and soar amen. high above whatever problems we're facing. Amen. Amen. High above and fulfill what God has called us to do. Don't be like the eagle in the chicken coop with his buddies. Like the prodigal son says, well, I could just go hang out in the world, you know. Yeah. No. But he didn't lie. We can't lie. Amen. That's right. Be like the eagle, king of all birds, and soar high with God. And be all God has called you to be. Amen. Amen. So hallelujah. The, the ranger, of course, like God, wants us to be all that he made us to be. He wants us to imitate him. Be the original he made us to be and not a copy. Amen. Don't copy. Don't copy the world. Don't copy man, friends, or anyone. God has called you, equipped you, and he's qualified you, appointed you, and approved you. So you don't need the approval of man or the world. You're a winner, not a loser. You're a victor and not a victim. And you're an overcomer, a winner, and a champion for God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I hope that blesses you. I hope that sets you free. Amen. Amen. From any. Soaring with eagles. Amen. Winners for God. Amen. So praise God. Amen.